The Bruins have won nine of their first 12 games. In fact, they've gotten at least a point in 11 of the first dozen. Cam Neely's leadership got a lot to do with the B's success, and his leadership also has a ton to do with the incredible impact his foundation has on the lives of cancer patients. Mark your calendars November 9th, the 25th edition of Cam's annual Comics Come Home event, hosted, of course, by Dennis Leary at TD Garden. We started our conversation reflecting on the unlikelihood of reaching that impressive milestone. When I first asked Dennis, I thought of me maybe one year we'll get one year out of it but uh, now 25 years later it's pretty uh, it's pretty amazing now before we started the conversation i just casually asked there's got to be something big in store for 25 but you're evidently being kept in the dark i am always kept in the dark dennis always has some surprise uh, but he always leaves me out of it so uh, we'll wait and see what happens well what's fun about it to me is that it has become a huge honor for these comics these comedians to be included as part of the show and I see the excitement in their eyes when we talk to them before a show yeah. because they're so thrilled to be there, not only to help the cause, but just to be on such a big stage for such a big purpose. Do you get that sense that it is an honor for these guys to get this call? Uh, I really do. Dennis used to say uh, I had to call and beg people to do the show. Now uh, comedians are calling him asking if they could do the show. So it speaks volumes, uh, like you said, to be at the TD Garden and have uh, 12,000, 13,000 people. Most of these comedians don't have that opportunity to get in front of that many people, and I think it gives them a, a big thrill. I mean, this show alone has raised over $13 million, so we've touched thousands of lives, and, and uh, that's what I'm most proud of. To be able to have a show go this long means that people still are interested, uh, obviously interested in, in coming to watch great comedians, but also what the cause is and how we're helping cancer patients. Give us an update on what's the latest at the Neely House. I remember a couple of years ago you gave us a great tour yeah. for a better understanding of exactly what the purpose is and how people benefit from the work you and your family do. But there's been things that have transpired even in those last 24 months. We opened a, an, an endoscopy suite uh, in honor of my mom who passed away from colon cancer. So. Um, We've done all kinds of different spaces at uh, Tufts, uh, Tufts Medical Center because one of the things that I wanted to do was try to help people today. Obviously, big believer in research, but you know there's still cancer patients and families that need help today, and that's that's what we try to do. All right, let's uh, talk some hockey. Sure. I got questions. All right. <laughs> I would imagine an off season like this for you couldn't have ended soon enough. You know, it was short, but you had to want this group to get back on the ice as quickly as possible. It was a short off season. You know, one of the things that, you know, you always concern yourself with is, you know, even if you don't need surgery post uh, season, you are banged up a little bit, so you need some time to recover. So when you go into late June, like we did, it really isn't until early July that players are starting to feel good and get back into working out and exercise. And I got to give our guys credit. They came into camp and ready to go and, and, and uh, hungry. Do you lend any sort of advice to guys who may not have been through that before on to how to get focused, how to put the disappointment behind you and hit the ice strong right away? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's more about just some unfinished business. Uh, we're not dwelling on the past. It's history. We can't do anything about it now. All we can do is uh, look at today and tomorrow, and that's what our guys are focused on. You hear the talk, I'm sure, about the top talent on this team traditionally, getting older, yeah, yeah. and a window perhaps shrinking that you gotta take advantage of the opportunities with Tuca and Z and Brad and Patrice, but yet you're still starting to develop the younger guys. What's the key there as a coach, as a general manager, as a president to keep it all going in the right direction? Well, it's, it's, it's challenging. Obviously, you know, you look at your club and, and you see uh, the players that you mentioned that you know, they're on the backside of their career, if you will, uh, we still feel we're good enough to compete to win for a Stanley Cup. You know, it's a fine line between making sure that, you know, you're, you're, you're recognizing where you are as an organization and not, not hoping that the guys are still have something left. We, we feel they do, but we know it's, uh, you know, that window is closing um, with, with, with that group only because they're going to age out. Yeah, does it make you more aggressive, you think, throughout this season as it progresses? Um, we'll see. We'll see how the year plays out. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take it uh, as... As the season goes along, I mean, you're always you're always talking about how do you how do you improve your club, regardless of where you stand right now. All right, last one. I'm, I got to ask you about pasta because it's been ridiculous. Pasta Rock scores. And you look back to his struggles that he had in the postseason. It might have been injury related. We're really never going to know. But for him to come back and play as well as he has played out of the shoot, what does that tell you? Well, he's hungry. He wants to be the best player he can be. Um, and he's got some really good guys he's learning from on that roster. So, and one of them is his centerman. Um, 
And he, you know, I think he came back to, to really show everybody he's, uh, he's a gamer and, and he's a game breaker. Um, you know, he loves to have fun, but he also is very committed to uh, being as good as he can. Always great talking hockey with Cam. How about this picture, huh? Looking a little young right there. The 25th annual Comics Come Home hits TD Garden November 9th. For tickets, just visit tdgarden.com.